This car is known to be one of the most reliable cars ever made, easily driving hundreds of thousands of kilometers without any major problems. I'm talking about the W123, also known as the E-Class's grandfather. The Mercedes-Benz W123 is a mid-sized executive car series produced by Mercedes-Benz from 1975 to 1986, known for its reliability and superior engineering. With its blend of classic design, innovative features and robust build quality, the W123 earned a worldwide reputation for excellence and became a bestseller for the company in the 70s and 80s. The W123 was designed with a focus on safety, comfort and reliability. It featured a range of body styles, including the four-door sedan, also known as a saloon, the coupe and the station wagon or five-door estate, known as the T-model as well. The long wheelbase, also known as the long limousine version, was also available for special uses, such as taxis or official transport. The exterior design was modernized, showcasing a balance between traditional Mercedes styling and new trends. It was characterized by rounded or rectangular headlights. For example, in the US it was different than in Europe. On the inside, the interior of the W123 was built with an emphasis on durability and quality materials. The cabin was spacious with comfortable seats, a simple yet functional dashboard and a clear focus on ergonomics. Mercedes-Benz included high-end materials ensuring that even after years of use, the interiors remained in good condition. The W123 offered a variety of petrol engines, also known as gasoline, and diesel engines in either 4, 5 or 6 cylinder configurations. The engines were known for their durability and were especially renowned for their diesel variants, which became famous for their longevity and low maintenance. The petrol engines included a 200, which was a 2 liter inline 4 producing 94 up to 109 horsepower, the 230, which was a 2.3 liter inline 4 producing 109 to 136 horsepower, and the 250, which was a 2.5 liter inline 6 producing 129 horsepower, and the top of the line 280 or 280E, which was an inline 6 with the 280E featuring a fuel injection producing between 156 and 185 horsepower. The diesel engines included the 200D which was a 2 liter inline 4 producing 55 up to 60 horsepower, the 220D which was a 2.2 liter inline 4 producing 60 horsepower, the 240D which was a 2.4 liter inline 4 producing between 65 and 72 horsepower, and the 300D which was a 3 liter inline 5 producing between 80 and 88 horsepower. This was also one of the first cars to use a turbo on their diesel engines having the 300 TD standing for turbocharged diesel as well, which was a turbocharged 3 liter inline 5 diesel. However, this was introduced in the US in 1981 and produced around 125 horsepower. Numbers that weren't heard of before. These engines were paired with manual 4 and 5 speed or automatic transmission. The diesel variants, especially the 240D and 300D, became highly popular for the fuel efficiency and reliability and were widely used in taxi fleets worldwide due to their ability to last hundreds of thousands of kilometers with minimal maintenance. The W123 came with several innovative features and options, some of which were ahead of its time, such as ABS, one of the first Mercedes-Benz models to offer ABS, improving braking safety on slippery surfaces. Airbags as well, later models included a driver's side airbags, a rarity in vehicles of this era. Power windows and central locking available on higher trims or as optional extras. A sunroof, which was either a manual or electric sunroof, adding a touch of luxury. Cruise control. Another option on higher trims making long distance traveling more comfortable. And self-leveling suspension in the T-model which was the station wagon. And this feature ensured a balanced ride even when carrying heavy loads. For those who opted for more luxury oriented features, 
options like leather upholstery, wood trim on the dashboard and advanced Audi systems were also available. The T-Model, which stood for Touristic und Transport, introduced in 1977, was one of Mercedes-Benz's first entries into the estate car market. It was designed to cater to families and businesses that required additional cargo space without sacrificing the comfort and luxury of a sedan. The load capacity of the T-Model, along with the self-leveling rear suspension, made it ideal for transportation. The 300TD Turbo became an iconic version, particularly in the US, offering a combination of power and practicality with its turbocharged diesel engine. It was also somewhat confusing because the T was also standing for Touring, but you also had the Turbo, so most of the time it was a bit confusing for people as well. The W123 was met with extraordinary demand upon its release, often resulting in waiting lists up to a year long. During the production run, Mercedes-Benz sold over 2.7 million units globally. Competition-wise, the W123 was made for a long time, between 1975 and 1986. During this time, a lot of competition had already placed there at that moment running models by newer models. For example, one of the competitors being the BMW 5 Series E12 and later E28 after 1981 and also the Audi 100 C2 and C3 after 1982. Thanks for watching this video. If you would like to see more, don't forget to like, subscribe for more, and also check out this playlist with many interesting videos covering various unique parts of the automotive industry. And I will see you in the next video.